So today I'm going to do a video of uh, best reference websites to check out. So I would recommend you guys checking out these websites that I'm going to be mentioning in this video because this was something where if you are becoming an artist or if you want to improve as an artist or if you would like to kind of do a bit more of your own style then I highly recommend you watch this video and I'll give you some advice on which websites to check out in order for you to get better and in order for you to masterpiece your own design let's get into it number one i would like to pick pin interest if this is more of a modern more of a pose reference or all of these things that you're looking for in that sort of category then give this pin interest a visit pin interest is literally one of the best websites out there with references you could do a lot on this one like honestly there are so many things that you can literally search on and it's right there at your door so i highly recommend you check out all of these references that they have you could do poses you could do a lot of references in terms of actions references in terms of nudity partial nudity you could do a lot of animal references as well so you don't have to keep looking at so many things right now and i think that's probably what the kind of gripe is you may have to find specifically what kind of reference you're looking at some of them you may not see some of them you will see but i highly recommend you check it out anyway because i think it's a really good good way of kind of getting started as an artist and also you can share your art as well so it can look at the people can look at it and see that you can use this as a reference for them or you can just kind of get put yourself out there as an artist as well so if there are a lot of things to look at and it's really creative really interesting so please go check it out number two I would like you to look at quick pose. You have a lot of different time practices where I would like to look at hands, poses, animals, feet or landscapes. So at the same time, to be more practiced with the artwork that I have, this is the better way to do it in order to kind of develop your own kind of art. Also, I do recommend you looking at some of the settings they have, which is great because at least then you won't have to get lost they have all the settings you need in order to kind of look at what you're trying to improve on in terms of references. And I think that you could also check out some of the references out there. They could be realistic, they could be non-realistic, detailed or non-detailed, even though it's the same thing. So yeah, you can definitely check out all of this in the description. Secondly, I would also think that if you are trying to do like different style of paintings there then that's the way to do it too so you don't have to keep doing pencil drawings left right and center you can do it stuff digitally as well so there's nothing wrong with that number three line of action line of action is more of an expression for a reference so it's more of like a happy sad angry tears goofy surprise like those kind of expressions you're looking for a sort of expression and face tools in order for you to get better with faces so with portraits if you're trying to look for a angry kind of emotional thing then that's the way to it so obviously as the start of the of the uh, piece you can look at other recent form topics form topics are really helpful too so don't get, forget about that you can also gain a bit ideas of all the artists that do a lot of themed kind of yearly themed stuff as well like inktober and Inktober is something that I did back in the day when I was doing a lot of ink drawings for 31 days, managed to achieve it, but it is achievable for anyone who wants to do a bit of that. So I highly recommend you looking at the trends that are happening for Inktober this year. And as we go into next year, there is gonna be some Inktober stuff there too, but do check it out. It's really great. The fourth one is Terra Rollnet. Terra Rollnet is a 3D kind of doll where you can do like 3D modeling, but you don't have to keep doing 3D modeling on the computer. You can do 3D modeling on your drawing too. Like people who want to get into 3D drawing, that's the best way for it as well. I do think that it's a way to kind of get outside your comfort zone if you're so used to doing 2Ds and stuff like that. Especially if you're a games artist, like if you really want to kind of be passionate about that stuff, you've got to do a bit of both. 2D and 3D. So it's not like you're trying to put yourself in that one dimensional kind of spot. You gotta put yourself in different dimensions. So I would really check out Terra World, Terra World Net. It's really cool, it's really fun. And yeah, give yourself a go. But to clear up, you don't have to be extremely perfect sometimes. Like don't expect one website after another website for your drawings to be 100%. Trust me, 
it does happen where you make mistakes but the more you continue to practice on these the better you get so that way you don't have to make so much mistakes left right and center everyone makes mistakes you just have to accept them sometimes i myself is a perfectionist when it comes to art so i would make mistakes sometimes but at times i just have to just move on and do something different so yeah check out terror well net it's really cool number five on air video on air video is more of like a a nudity kind of naked kind of display i know some people do naked displays anyway i mean you see naked displays like this naked displays like that but if you want to do something for yourself this is more of like a i would say a fine art kind of creation so you could do something like that where you can do a on-air kind of sexy kind of fantasizing kind of like a more of a like a you know in your own world kind of field so i used to do this uh, painting where i was just doing like a hidden addiction so the addiction was something where i was like you know what we should do something that's relatable to a topic that most guys go through in terms of like porn addictions which is something that we do I'm not saying this in a weird way but this is definitely one of the best ways to kind of visit a place where you can do more of like a human figure so you can do it either like thick slim like fat skinny as well like all of that stuff you can just check out and literally draw and it's amazing or now I'm going into the deeper situation. Now, this is something that I think you should do as an artist. Number one is still life. Still life where you can do, get as many figures as you can. Figures in terms of like, you know, referencing towards like, it could be as ridiculous as you want. Some people have referenced using food, like Kit Kats or like <laughs> blocks of chocolates or sweets and all that stuff, or like fruit. So basically you have like all the apples and oranges, bananas and all that stuff. And then you kind of do like a, a design. Basically most of them would use it for like a buildings. And that's cool. Cause you know, the weirder it gets, the better it, de the better it develops. So you can do as much as you can in terms of kind of using different kinds of food designs and stuff like that to, in order to get perspective of like your drawing of a building, which is great. And last but not least, a mannequin. A mannequin is literally, you can get an app. Blind Tiger are doing mannequins for, for a bit. You can do a hand mannequin, you can do a figure mannequin, 12 figure mannequin, six figure mannequin, that kind of stuff here. You can actually post it on Amazon, which I will put in the description if you want to check it out. But it's better to kind of get a use of what you can do in terms of actions so you can do as many weird actions as you can don't make it too weird but do what you want exactly but it's really fun it's really cool it's just dynamic it's like if you kind of want to make your character more of like a figure like in terms of comic or superhero that kind of stuff which you can do on all of these websites all these websites you want to check out but it's very useful so i do recommend you check it out and yeah these are the references websites that I would put in the description for you to check out. Make sure you hit that like button if this was useful. Please subscribe to this channel because your support means a lot as we want this channel to grow and develop. But yeah, check out my links in the description, my website. I will be posting the merch real soon, so keep an eye on that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace.